Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LinkPad tool. LinkPad is a .NET IDE that allows you to not only run link statements against a database or a file system or whatever you choose, but also is a .NET code snippet executor. It allows you to run and execute .NET code snippets without actually having to open up your Visual Studio IDE. It's a pretty slick little tool and uh, we're going to teach you how to use, use the more intermediate features and how to use a little bit more complicated features of it. If you've not seen LinkPad before or you'd like to get an introductory overview, I recommend you check out one of our earlier screencasts. So let's go ahead and get started. LinkPad, in order to run as a, as a .NET statement executor, needs to be set up to run as a C-sharp statement. If you're doing VB, you can most certainly use the VB statements. We're going to be using C-sharp here. And let's just do a real quick example. We're going to just output the current date time. Now, if I leave it as is, it will not run because it does tell me it needs a semicolon. And it, you'll notice that all errors will be popped up here in this little yellow uh, text box area. It will notify you what, ex what exactly is wrong. And when I run this, need dot dump on it. When I run this, it'll tell me today's date is 7-3-2008. Now, what is this dot dump? Dot dump is an extension method that you can add to any call that will essentially just call system.console.writeLine. It saves you from having to do do a console dot right line. Makes life a little bit easier. So real quick, you saw real quickly how you can execute a real simple statement. Well, this doesn't do us a whole lot. Let's do something that's a little more complicated. Let's actually create a list of strings and add some values to it and see what we can do with this. call this dot dump. And you'll notice down here just read out the values one, two, three, and four. Now I can actually call dot dump multiple times and every time it'll just output the same values. And in many scenarios when you're using LinkPad you might be dumping multiple values to the screen. So what they've actually added for us is a nice way to put headers on them. Now when I run this, you'll see it each one says head item 1, item 2, item 3. I don't need to have the, the header put in there. And I'll just you know, mark it without a name. And this is pretty slick because it allows you to basically identify what your dumps are from more easily. So let's take a look at a little bit more complicated view because I want to see, show you that within LinkPad you can actually also drill into an entire object model you know, all the way down the, the hierarchy tree. And it's actually pretty slick and pretty powerful. So let's change this to be a dictionary where I have a string and then the value portion of the dictionary will be a list of strings. save myself some typing and just copy and paste this over and over again. Now in this scenario, I've, when I do a list.dump, when I do a list.dump, you'll notice that not only do I see the, high level, the first level values, so value 1, but I can drill into it and I can collapse and expand and if this was an entire object model, I could actually go one step further and further and further, and I can keep drilling into it. So it allows you to debug values very easily. As you've seen real quick, we can actually run basically any C sharp X statement. I can even do things with like XML documents. So I could do something like var X document. If 
I will actually run I have an XML document sitting on my K drive. I can dump out the XML or I can even do some Looks like I forgot an S there. Or I can dump it out. And here, let's do count so I can know, to know which one is which. And if I don't want to dump it, I could most certainly I can most certainly pop it into a local variable and dump it out that way. So you've seen that I can, again, execute anything. I can go against any library. If you need to add libraries, you can do that as well. Well, not only is LinkPad a, a .NET code snippet ID, I can also use it to execute SQL statements directly. So just simply change the type to SQL. Then, of course, you've got to, you need to have a database set up. If you don't know how to do that, check out our earlier screencasts because we do go over that in detail. I'm going to go ahead and connect to my local Dimecast database. And I can do select... select star from episodes and this will just dump out all the episodes that's in our database and I can join them I can order them anything you can do in SQL you can do within here and of course it will I'll tell you the SQL that gets outputted but that's mostly for link usages so what have we gone over today we've gone over that with LinkPad you can do multiple things apart from executing standard link statements that you can execute C Sharp or VB code snippets. And what's really cool about that is you can take those snippets directly from LinkPad and paste them into your Visual Studio application. And you won't have to actually step through Visual Studio or your application to test some small piece of logic that you want to work with. We've shown that you can actually debug or walk into an entire object tree because when you output the data into LinkPad, it will actually walk the object tree and dump it into the grid. We've also learned that you can uh, execute standard SQL statements as long as you have a database connection. Pretty powerful tool. This was uh, part two of a three-part series. The next time we will go into a little more detail and show you how to link to external libraries and how to save queries and pull them back up. So I hope you learned something. Until next time.